Alright, 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 alright. Uh, this is Jared from Crypto Plan. How's everyone going? And uh, I'm doing a little bit of a makeshift recording here on my phone because I'm in between PCs. Um, but hey, do you know what? We've just got to get the content out there when we can. Uh, I am doing an update on Hathor. Uh, you know what? I, I have a, a good bag of of uh, cryptocurrencies right now that I'm very happy with my portfolio. So now I'm just doing fine little tweaks where if my smaller bags reach some targets, I halve them and roll them into things that haven't pumped or, you know, so I'm kind of doing a bit of rebalancing on a small scale, knowing that I've got my larger bags fully set for the alt season. Now Hathor is one that I found. If you've seen my previous video, it's a buy for me. I think it's gonna pump. I think it's just a matter of time. When that happens, we don't know, but I've got the four hour chart up here on the KuCoin and I am so super bullish on it now because I, the more research I've done, I'm looking into it and one, I think the smart people have built this coin um, and the smart people have built this coin for the average person to use. So uh, the Hathor network is actually a way you can make your own token and it is a very simple way to do it. You can download their wallet, you can create a token just like that if you're a shop or if you are a coffee shop or if you are anywhere that want a reward system and you want to issue your own tokens, you could do that and then they can be traded if they need to be. So, you know, for game developers or whatever, you know, it's just, it's going to open up that world for the average Joe to be able to make their own tokens, which is brilliant. Um, number two, it can be mined and it can be mined with the same software or the same setup as Bitcoin and Litecoin and, and some of the major ones. So it can be mined on the side while the Bitcoins are being mined, which is another thing which says that it's great and it's going to have volume and liquidity and be able to be traded. So, and then the third thing is, is the chart itself and the fact that I see this consolidation right here as a super bullish signal that, you know, it, it is a good time to buy it. We are building a solid base. You know, whether you buy it at, when it dips down to 20 cents or 19 cents or whether you buy it at 23, I've, I've bought uh, four or five times now and I've got kind of a cost basis maybe somewhere in the 22s. That doesn't matter for me. It's about what it does next, you know. So you can see the triangle there. It's, it's grinding its way into that triangle. At some point, it will decide what it wants to do and I don't believe it's going to go dramatically to the downside. I think its support level there, that pink line, 18 cents, I think that's held solidly. I think it's creating higher lows at the moment. I think that um, once and when and if, uh, if and when, it gets put on to some more exchanges and gets more volume traded. Uh, you know, especially, you know, the likes of maybe Coinbase or something like that, um, you're going to start to see massive moves in this one. So it's a get in early one, you know, it's a put in what you're willing to lose one, but it's something that I'm super bullish on. So, you know, because I'm not on my usual setup, I'm not going to do too much deep diving into the mm. chart, but we're hovering around the 30 bar moving average on the four hour. So we're not we're not deviating, we're kind of, we're rolling with the punches, we're, we're, we're doing all the right things as in, as in a consolidation pattern, you know, so, and, and, and you can see from my last video, what I've done is I've readjusted that tight, that triangle, the triangle gives, you know, some more data has occurred, so the triangle's kind of ma made a clear pattern there that is grinding into that triangle, coming into the alt season, the fact that, you know, Bitcoin's consolidation is closer to being played out. Alts are starting to, you know, sporadically fire. You're seeing some large gains in individual coins every now and again. So it's a matter of picking one, picking one you're bullish on and just holding it and waiting for its turn. You know, don't be chasing ones that have already pumped. You know, find structures like this, find projects like this. And, you know, this particular project is, is being invested in by, you know, Indiv you know, individuals that are key early stage investors, you know, so there's people that uh, out there that are investing in these sort of projects because they they're actually have a real utility because they believe that they're going to take massive gains on their investment because they're going to be a long-term stayer and a player. 
Now, you can kind of ride that way by getting in early in these projects at this stage. You know, you can see wherever you're buying it now, it's in between. It's not the lowest it's been and it's not the highest it's been. So it's in that middle range of that middle base. So if you're thinking, you know, buy now, see what happens in the next two to three months. Short term trade, you can take 100, 200% profit out long term. Who knows? Sky's the limit um, coming into that alt season. So I see this one as, for me, a very bullish pro project um, to get involved into. And at this stage in the game, you know, it's kind of the upside potential is there for me. Now, it's not financial advice, do your own research. Um, there's there's Twitter on the Hatha networks. There's some YouTube videos on it, uh, which I was kind of deep diving into the other night. But either way, I think it's um, got a solid use case. And I think that it will pick up momentum once people realize what it is and how it's used and, and what, you know, what the potential is for the upside there. So I'm going to leave it there. That's Hathor Networks is still a buy for me. Please like, subscribe to the video and click the notification bell if you so desire. And I've been Jared and this has been Crypto Plan and I shall say bye for now.